This video will explain to you how to get around a cruise ship without getting lost. And for me, I have been lost on the cruise ship many times, usually because they are just so big and it's pretty easy to get lost. A few tips right off the top. First of all, get yourself a deck plan pamphlet when you check in or uh, print one off uh, online before you get on the trip. First of all, locate your cabin on the deck plan, then find the nearest staircase elevator combination. The thing about your elevator locations is it's the one thing that is on every floor of the ship. The layout of each deck will be substantially different than the other decks, but the one thing they all have in common is they have the elevator location. So that will be your common reference point to refer to. I can explain more in detail. So oftentimes on a cruise ship, uh, you'll hear the uh, announcements um, by the captain or the cruise director, and they'll refer to different um, parts of the ship. So it's, uh, it's good to know the language. Um, that'll help you find your way around. So in this diagram, um, the arrow is pointing up, and uh, so is the pointed end of the ship. So they call the, um, the forward part of the ship bow and the um, end of the ship, the other end of the stern, uh, also referred to as aft. So uh, forward and aft is a term you'll hear used on the ship all the time. And of course, the other two are uh, the left and right side of the ship. And why they didn't just call them left and right, I don't know. But they don't. It's called port and starboard. And the rule of thumb um, to uh, remember which is which is uh, the left side is the port side. Uh, the word port and, and the word left both have four letters. That's how I remember it. The most important reference point on a cruise ship is the staircases. This sample has two. They're indicated on this diagram with the uh, red X's. Some cruise ships have three, but you have to check your deck plan. So this will be our reference point going forward. The uh, staircases and the elevators are always located together. Here's a uh, deck plan. Um, the uh, bow is shown on the right hand side there. Um, again, we have two sets of uh, staircases. I've circled them in yellow. If you look at the uh, middle left hand side, there's a red arrow pointing. Um, that's the sample uh, cabin location. So if we were going to find our way to um, our cabin, we would have to go to the elevators aft or at the rear end and uh, arrive at our level, in this case, deck 11 and uh, then move uh, forward towards the bow a little bit and our cabin is located there. So when you come off the elevator, you look for your cabin. Um, we were on the port side hallway and uh, or the left, so um, we need to determine whether we're in the right hallway first. Each ship is different. Some ships have different color carpet on uh, the port uh, versus the uh, starboard. Uh, other ships, um, the cabin numbers are higher on one side than the other. So um, just do your research um, when you first get on the ship, and that'll make it easier to make the decision when you come off the elevator which way to turn uh, towards your hallway. Okay, so let's say you're on the pool deck and you decide you want to go back to your cabin. You know that your cabin is located near the um, aft elevators. So in this case, you didn't have to make your way back to the um, uh, aft end of the uh, ship and find those elevators to go down to your cabin. The same is true if uh, you're in the uh, middle decks where the restaurants and atrium and so on is located. Um, each time, if you want to head back to your cabin, you need to locate those aft elevators. And uh, each deck on a cruise ship is quite different, so um, it's always the same thing. Find your reference point, which is the elevators.